Today we're taking a look at our 2019 Ford F-150 Lariat Sport with the FX4 package and the 502A package. It's got the 5 liter V8. Let's go take a look inside this awesome F-150. Taking a look at the driver door, door handle here, you do have your advanced case entry, you can lock and unlock by touching the handle. You also do have your keypad entry here. So if we were to lock the vehicle right now, you put your hand behind the handle, the vehicle does unlock. The running boards do pull out here. You do get your soft touch leather armrest as well. All nice soft touch all around the door panel here. You do have your power window controls, power mirror controls here, as well as your power folding mirrors. It's easy to tap to fold in. And you do have your power locks with your three-way power memory seat for the driver. You have a speaker in the door panel with quite a little bit of extra storage and a cup holder. You do have your all other mess down below. And you do get your power driver seat with your lumbar support down here. You put this nice, awesome red and black seating. It looks very nice with the Sport in, on the seat here. So you have to see the Sport logo quite a few times throughout this F. 150 but as we get into the Lariat F150 on the left hand side of the steering column you're going to find your automatic light control you also do the side light controls with your electronic parking brake and your power pedal adjustment there you do have your push button start down here so as we turn on the F150 you do have the power telescopic steering wheel here as well so when it's set it will drop down to the way that you want it and so if you're a number one driver you will it'll all everything will move but you tap the power memory seats here. On the left hand side of the steering wheel, you do have the multi-directional pad for the nice big tachometer screen above there, which we'll go through in just a second. Below that, you get your cruise control with the adaptive cruise, which is very nice. You also do have your volume rocker on the right hand side for your multimedia control. You have your remote media select, a media change, as well as your skipping uh, song or station. Down below that, you have your mute button, voice recognition, and your answer and hang up which is very nice. But moving to the digital speedometer here, you can see the Sport the sport logo on the left-hand side with the RPM gauge. You do have the manual speedometer on the right-hand side. Um, nice thing about these Fords, you do have a favorites page. So everything we go through, you can put on the favorites page as the my or the my view page there, and you can access it nice and quick. So on the trip and fuel gauge here, we have the trip one, uh, trip two. It's gonna show different information for your different fuel economy distance to empty stuff like that you do your average fuel economy your fuel history there your compass and then your auto start stop so you do have the auto start stop in the f-150 here and the truck info you have the tire pressure monitor you have the digital speedometer here as well as the engine hours you also do have the towing uh page here so the to into the towing status you have the different camber that you're on the gain all that stuff the, the degree of the wheels that are turning and you also do have the trailer disconnect here so our trailer information there's no trailer connected right now but you have the trailer light status here so it'll show, tell you the trailer light status you can set up a trailer it will remember different trailers as well and then you have a connection checklist to do before you hit the road you also did the off-road mode. This is going to show the degrees of what angle the F-150 is on. So if you're on the off-road, you can see where you're kind of at. And then you can also see the power distribution and where the power is going. You do get the cross traffic alert there with the driver alert, the rear parking aid, the trailer blind spot monitoring, as well as the regular blind spot monitoring. You have the pre-collision there, so you have the distance indication, active at braking, and the pre-collision on there. You also do have your cruise control, and you can put it to adaptive or normal. Adaptive is very nice. Um, DTE calculation, so you can change it to normal or towing. And then your lane keeping assist system, so you can change the mode to aid and alert. Just the alert or just the aid, so it's going to alert, alert you if you go out of the lane, or it's, it's gonna also going to help you stay in the lane there. The alert intensity you can change from normal, high, or low. Into the advanced settings, you can change to my vehicle, your key, the display setup, all that through there. But that's all that through the screen there. Um, you do have the automatic headlights and automatic high beams as well, which is very nice. And moving to the mirror here, you do get your blind spot monitoring that will light up orange if someone is in your blind spot and alert you if someone, if you ch try to change lanes. Moving up top here, you do have the Bang & Olsen 
sound system. So you do have the nice little speaker up top here with the little tweeters all around the F-150, very nice sounding sound system and a storage compartment up top here as well. Moving to the infotainment here, you do have the nice sync system uh, up top. You do have the downhill deceleration, your uh, traction control, forward flashes, your 360 camera here. You can change the different viewing angles. So you can go through that and then your auto engine off, you can turn on or off up there. Now to, the, now to the infotainment here, you have the home screen. Home screen is awesome. You have the map, the music, as well as the phone, and you can turn on your heated steering wheel there as well. So as we take, click on the audio setting, you can change your source list. You have your AM, FM, Sirius XM radio, Bluetooth, and USB audio. You also can go over to your climate here and change your climate control. So you can lower this down by that or even by the dials. So by the dials, you can see um, you can lower it and it changes very quickly. You can change your dual zone climate control, auto sync air, your heat steering wheel, all that stuff through the screen here, which is very nice. You do have the phone settings, so you connect your phone through Bluetooth and moving to the navigation screen. You do have a nice navigation screen, easy to search, find where you want to go as well there. And moving to the apps, you're going to find your connected device, mobile apps in Sirius XM Travel Link. Into the settings here, you do have the sound, clock, Bluetooth, phone, all the different settings there for navigation, the mobile apps there as well. And as we swipe over, you do have the Apple CarPlay there, 911 nine Assist, uh, your Wi-Fi support, Ford Pass Connect is available as well. And then the valet mode, so you can lock the truck so they can't really do anything with the truck while they are gone. You do have the volume rocker with just six quick action media buttons, your tune control, and then your media select source. And below that, you're gonna find your dual zone climate control with your nice cold air conditioning with the auto and sync air, and your heated and cooled front seats here. So you can turn on the heated seats or cooled seats. They are both three level setting there. Um, and moving to the left hand side of that, you have your two wheel drive, four wheel drive auto, four wheel drive high and low, as well as your trailer backup and trailer braking down below there with your push button start. As we put the vehicle into reverse, you do get your backup camera with your guidance lines, as well as your rear parking aid, which you can turn off or on. You do have your drive mode select here as well. So this is really cool about the F-150. So you have the drive mode, you have your tow haul mode, your snow and wet mode, your eco mode, as well as the sport mode there. So it will, things will change with the different modes on here, which is nice. You have manual shift mode here as well as you do have the nice lane departure warning you can turn on or off and then the you do have the park assist you have the parallel park assist here so you turn it on it'll search for a parallel parking spot there you turn your signal line on and it'll help you parallel park in those tighter areas you do have the slide open here under here you're gonna find your usbs and a little bit of storage for to put your phone while you're driving two cup holders and into the center console you have a super super deep center console down here um menu wheel locks down there as well it does get closed up nice and easily. You do have your auto dimming rear view mirror with your tilting and sliding moonroof controls up top as you do get your big panoramic moonroof and your rear sliding window. You also do have your three garage door openers. But let's go take a look at the outside of this awesome F-150. You have your very nice 40 LED headlights as well as LED camera. I really like these headlights on this F-150. They do look really nice. And you do have this nice honeycomb grill up front. It's got this nice, nice color to it here. As you can see, it's not kind of a dark gray color. It does look really good and goes with the rest of this F-150 here. So hooks up front here, you block block your five legs, stuff like that. You do have the sport stuff up top, so the matching hood stripes there with the red to match the interior and the Gray to match the grill. Everything looks really, really good on this F-150. On the key here, you're going to find your remote start. So you can lock and start up this F-150. Already started up super quick. You see those awesome headlights light up. And as we're going to the side here, you're going to find your black Ford alloy. Very sporty looking alloy. Everything just goes really well with this F-150. You have the F-150 Larry logo of black with little red trimming. You have the red and you have the three color stripes along the side here to just kind of blend it all together. So you can walk in the back, you have the window seat in the back here as well. 
the clip key going wrong, and then the FX4 logo in the back here as well. So it's very, very awesome. You can go to the back, you have the bright LED uh, rear lights here. Uh, very nice looking here as well. And in the back, you get the rear parking sensors. So it's easy to fold down the tailgate as well as you can just do it by the tap of the remote. Tailgate folds down, you can see that nice spray and box liner. You do, it, does, it is in amazing condition. I see about these Ford boxes too. They do add these little lights here. So if the lights to light up at night, uh, you turn them off or on nice and easily. Nice and easy to lift up the tailgate here as well as you do with the Ford tailgate stuff. Let's go take a look at the rear door, rear passenger. On the rear door panel, you can do your soft size armrest, power window controls, nice trimming along here, nice kind of gray to match the rest of the F-150. Everything comes together. So as you come to the back here, of course, the power folding step comes out and you do have your red and black leather in the back here with the same sport trim. And you do get your rear seat armrest that does fold down nice and easily there. You get your little two cup holders, does fold back up and slide in to give you that third seat. And you also do get your rear heated seats with your two USB ports back here. So you charge your devices. You also have a 110 volt back here as well. So if you do have something a little bit bigger or 115 volt, you can plug it in there and a 12 volt as well. So, or 110 volt, so four watts. And you also do have your rear air vents with the two cup holders there as well. If you do have people in the, all three seats are occupied. The seat belts also do have the red trimming. So everything just kind of matches, looks real good. This, the one seat does fold down, gives you access to your hitch to lift up the vehicle. If you do need to do that. And you also do have your 60, 40 folding rear seats to lift it up here and give you that extra storage in the back. Nice and easy to fold down as well while with a pull of the lever, they do lock in. So they won't just fall down if you have some valuable stuff in the back here. Thank you for watching this quick overview of the 2019 Ford F-150 Lariat. If you do have any more questions about this Lariat F-150 or would like to come see this amazing truck in person, please visit parkmaza.ca. At that time, you can book an appointment and take this vehicle for a drive. With a qualified test drive, you get a $25 gift card. Come see you soon and have a great rest of your day.